do, 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 do. What's up guys? Back on another episode on the bagged and bodied Nissan hard body build. It's been a while. Been doing a lot of painting, a lot of assembly, stuff that I really don't want to be filming just because it's kind of a hassle, especially when painting it kind of gets hard to try to film while you're painting and doing all that stuff. It gets pretty involved. But Today is a new episode, finally for you guys. I had a little teaser of the frame a couple weeks ago and we're finally back with another episode. So I decided to hard line the truck with Copper Airline. I still need to test it and I'm waiting for a couple Acura parts to come in so I can actually use the manifold. So a test video will be coming up shortly, hopefully in a week or two, so stay tuned for that. But the goal is to use the Copper hard lines as the airlines. I'm using 3.8 copper line, ordered a 50 foot bundle of it. Got a hair on my face. So first off, when you get copper airline, it's all coiled up. Now you can buy tube straighteners. They are kind of expensive. You can buy universal that a bunch of sizes for $200 or you can buy each individual size for $80. At this point, I didn't really feel like purchasing something like that. So I was contemplating on how am I gonna straighten these lines? And then I came across this really cool trick. Uh, I don't think it's the best way to do it, but definitely if you're only going to do this once or twice, then I think it's definitely an affordable way to do it. It's absolutely free. You take your copper hard line, you straighten it out to the best of your ability, you clamp it into a vise. With the other end, you clamp it with a pair of vise grips or channel locks, whatever you want to use. I use vise grips. Then you beat the living crap out of the vice grips. So you're basically pulling it straight. So the material is getting stretched just a little bit, but it will take out a majority of the kinks and bends. And you got a fairly straight line. You were gonna do a really long line. I mean, I was able to do about 10 feet long. If you're gonna do something longer than that, then I probably suggest getting a tube straightener. But this little trick works pretty darn good. So when it's time after your tube's all straightened, it's time to cut it. You want to use a tube cutter, which is this cool little clamp down thing that gives you really nice, straight, parallel, clean cuts. You just tighten it to your tube, spin it, tighten it a little more, spin it, tighten it, spin it. Do it a few times until, bam, your tube is cut nice and clean with no burrs. Once you have that going, you need yourself a tube bender, about $20 off Amazon. And this is where it gets tricky. This is where you really need to think in your head and plan out where your bins are gonna go. You need to plan out how much stick in the push connects have, how much a bend takes up for length, and all this. What I found to be the best way is make a couple template pieces so it shows you how much a 180 degree bend will take, how much a 90 degree bend will take, uh, marking where a push connect takes about half an inch, so on, so on. Um, and also just making short pieces that do your complicated bends and then transferring it to your actual material. When you're working with a shorter piece, it makes it a lot more easy to work with than a 10 foot long piece. So if you work with this short piece, get it dialed, you're not ruining your big piece, and then you can transfer all those bins to your actual piece. Work one bin at a time, you get one line ran, two lines ran, so on, so on, and then you're all good. To attach the copper line, I ordered stainless clamps off Amazon. In a 3 8 I got singles and dual clamps, and they come with a nice little stainless bolt with them. I found a correct hole to drill for the bolt that I could tap a thread into it. The correct threads for the bolt that came with the kit. So what I did, tap it, mark where the clamp needs to be, drill it with the proper size, just a little bit smaller than your thread. Tap the thread with some thread tap and then you're able to use that bolt Boom, right into the frame, and voila.
wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, write a comment saying what's up, and subscribe if you're new. Share too, that helps a lot. And the next episode, we're gonna be tackling getting the AccuAir hooked up, starting to run some other lines. We got brake lines to run, electrical lines to run, and exhaust to run. Oh, and fuel lines. So, still a ton to do. Still gotta bolt a bunch of stuff onto the motor and get that all tidied up that's getting there. Wanna give a shout out to some of my loyal fans. Sick Rides Fabs from Texas. Eric Zargozo from Mexico. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Al Moore from Hobart. Tasmania? Is that correct? I don't know. If you guys want to be shouted out, just leave a comment from where you're from and I'll be sure to shout out the next video. I think also in the next video I will put my rendering in. I finished my rendering for the truck so you guys can see that. So that'll be another little treat for next video. So see you guys next time.